What if I told you the world could collapse even if we go fully green? Not because we run out of power, but because we run out of something far more critical. Oil isn't just fuel. It's the hidden skeleton of civilization. And once you understand what it's really in, you'll see why humanity is walking straight toward a cliff. We've been taught to fear empty gas stations, but that's not the real nightmare. The real nightmare is this. If oil vanished tomorrow, the world wouldn't slow down, it would stop. Immediately. Because the most essential systems keeping billions of us alive depend on it in ways we almost never think about. Take hospitals. Oil is in the tubes that carry medicine, the gloves surgeons wear, the machines that keep patients breathing, and even the sterile packaging that keeps infections away. Without it, modern healthcare collapses back to the Stone Age overnight. Agriculture? Same story. The fertilizers that grow our crops, the coatings that protect seeds, the pipes that carry water, the containers that store food, almost all of it relies on petroleum. Without oil, global food production falls off a cliff. Infrastructure? Our roads, water pipes, power cables, emergency systems, and protective coatings that stop buildings from decaying. They all rely on oil-based materials. Remove petroleum, and everything we've built begins to crumble. And here is the twist that nobody wants to talk about. Even green technology, our supposed lifeboat still depends on oil. Solar panels use petroleum-based plastics and adhesives. Wind turbines rely on resin in their blades and lubrication in their gears. Electric cars? Packed with oil-derived wiring insulation, rubber, and synthetic materials. We're not escaping oil, we're just hiding it better. And this is the part that should keep world leaders up at night. Even if we stopped burning oil completely, we would still run out. Because we still needed to build hospitals, grow food, maintain infrastructure, and produce the very machines we hope will save us. Civilization doesn't collapse when the last drop of gasoline is gone. It collapses when we can't make the things that keep people alive. The world doesn't just run on oil. The world is built from it. And unless we confront that truth, the countdown doesn't stop, it accelerates.